I'm Holden. And I'm Jackson. And we're straight out of comics. Straight to the news, Jackson. Okay. You got news? <laughs> I didn't pick out the first one I wanted to do. Should have done that. Here we are. Always, always <laughs> unprepared. And the I fun- got the thing in front of me. The funny thing is, people, <laughs> for the people at home, we spent an hour preparing. <laughs> <laughs> and we start out, out the gate, with problems. Uh, there was something. Oh, yes. Last week when we shot, when we filmed our episode, or recorded it, recorded. I should say, um, right after it was announced that Channing Tatum was leaving Gambit, the oh. movie Gambit, well, remember? And then right after we filmed it, I was like, oh man, we should record another thing, because this just happened. But then well, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Be- because it doesn't matter, because like three days later, he came back and said he's going to be in it. It's a good thing that we didn't talk about it at that point because, I mean, we would have looked like idiots this week. We would have, but because. it's breaking news. Yeah, okay. So Gambit's, Channing Tatum is going to play Gambit. <clears throat> yes. They are using Channing Tatum to replace Hugh Jackman as, uh, like, the main character in all the movies. Yes, I guess. I don't know. I think that's what they're going to do. That it's going to be like now, well, probably, all yeah, the movies after. are going to revolve around Gambit and some weird, stupid, like, Thieves Guild tie storyline. <laughs> if anybody tie, remembers really. the old 90s X-Men cartoon, there was an episode that focused on, there was an episode that focused on Gambit's, uh, Gambit's origins, and I can't remember what it was called, so no one asked me, but, uh, but it was a two-parter. And it had to do with, like, uh, his brother and the thieves Ties. guild. <laughs> and everybody was like, it's time to pay the tide, Bobby. And, was, Bobby, and, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> and it went into this whole water boy thing. And I hated that episode. Every time that episode of the 90s X-Men cartoon came on, I was like, fuck this, I'm done. And I was like nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> and your parents, our parents were like, Jackson, why do you have to curse? But, uh, but yeah, so he's staying. If he didn't stay, I felt like they probably shouldn't make a Gambit movie. But I guess he's staying, so I don't know. He probably shouldn't make one anyways. <laughs> They'll probably still make one. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Like, I mean, I'm not the biggest Channing Tatum fan in the world. I'm not the biggest Gambit fan. But it's like, whatever, you know. They always say, like, oh, Channing Tatum's so funny and stuff and charming in his movies. But it's like Channing Tatum's not the best, isn't the good part about the movies he's in. I mean, you look at, like, 22 Jump Street. I mean, Jonah Hill and Ice Cube are the funny parts in that movie. Not Channing Tatum. G.I. Joe, he's not the best part of G.I. Joe. The Rock is. White House down. What about G.I. Joe 1 that didn't have The Rock in it? Nobody was good in that movie. <laughs> I guess uh, uh, Snake Wayans. Eyes, Snake Eyes, and Storm Shadow. You could say them. You're not going with Marlon Wayans. No, Marlon Wayans <laughs> was not good in that movie either. But even then, Marlon Wayans is still funnier and has better comedic timing than Channing Tatum does. And then in Foxcatcher, you know, you had Mark Ruffalo and Steve Carell in that movie. That motherfucker, that motherfucker Steve Carell in that movie. Point in case, I don't think Channing Tatum's that great. He's all right. <laughs> what about, uh, I was about to say Mad Max. Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Mad Max. No, because I think um, that was the thing, too, is because I never really hear anybody saying, like, oh, I really like Channing Tatum and Magic that's, Mike. That's because you don't talk to that many women. Well, no, because it's always like, I always hear um, that other dude, um, Flash Thompson. The dude that was Flash Thompson, Joe Meganinello. Joe Megan and all of Yeah, that dude. Yeah. I always hear that dude is so like the better. All of him the or Matt Bomer Mike. or Matthew McConaughey are the ones people are usually like, oh, those are the dudes. I think people usually talk about Channing Tatum. Mm. 
I don't. I usually hear Joe Magan and then you know, yo, yo. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you don't hear it that much. Cause they don't, know they don't say his name. Yeah. They're just like, this guy. Because you and don't know. show you a picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. He's back in. Whatever. All right. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hawkman. That's not an airplane. Flying above us. That's awesome. Hawkman. Um, he's been cast for Arrow, Flash, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, he's going to be on all three of them? I guess so. Or maybe the guy's got a deal where he'll be in Arrow, then he'll be in The Flash, and then he'll be in Legends of Tomorrow eventually. Oh. That's so, yeah. I mean, that that's fine because, I mean, he's going to be in all three. That's cool because you can build towards him or whatever. That'll be interesting. Build towards Hawkman. Yeah, <clears throat> Hawkman's fine. I mean, you already got Hawk Girl though, or Hawk Woman. I mean, why you need Hawkman too? Well, I doubt Hawkman's probably gonna be part of the team. I know, but he might just be like there, and he's like Hawk Girl. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, I'm. And she's like, team. I'm part of this is my team. Yeah. Get away or whatever. Yeah, leave me alone. Or she's like, I don't know who you are. Kind of like in the animated series, and he's like, Oh, look. We're, we're reincarnated. To be together. We're it's reincarnated like, goo or whatever. To be, well, I want to be. I'm an alien. But she doesn't know. She's an alien. Yeah, so... Uh, it, de- it depends. Their, their origins are stupid. Has this guy been in anything else that they cast as Hawkman? I don't think so. No. Very cool. So they He's cast unknown. A, uh, an unknown guy. That's, that's good. I, I mean, more, more heroes and whatever. Bring me more news. Rumor, there's a rumor floating around that Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy signed on for more X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. Now, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, they play Magneto and Professor X, correct? Yeah, that'd be correct. They play more than that. Like, Michael Fassbender played Frank, and uh, James McAvoy played uh, The dude Wanted. from Wanted? <laughs> <laughs> the guy yeah. from Wanted? His name was Wanted in the movie. But whatever, uh, yeah, there's a rumor that they're signing back for more, so I think that I would be upset if they wanted to make Channing Tatum the stars of the movies, and not, if I was Michael Fassbender. But whatever. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, look at it like this. All the movies could play out like uh, Days of Future Past did, where it's like, you know, it, you've got this whole thing between, like, Professor X and Magneto, but then you have the mysterious Channing Tatum's Gambit come in. It's <laughs> like, you know, hey, <laughs> Professor <laughs> X, it's time to pay the time. <laughs> and then they roll their eyes and then they continue. <laughs> They're like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I like those. I like those two guys. Yeah, and I like They've been all right as uh, Professor X and Magneto. Why yeah. not keep them on? Instead of, like, uh, yeah, recasting I mean, if, somebody else. Yeah, if you're recasting or trying to reboot or whatever, it's good to have those guys on there. Um, you're probably losing Jennifer Lawrence, but whatever. Mm. I mean, she's not playing that great of a character anyways. Um, so. But Mystique? Yeah, Mystique. Oh, Mystique is a, he's a fairly good bad guy. She's a bad guy, but not a good, like, Wolverine. Star player? Yeah, star character. I mean, you could, that's what, I mean, first one, they just threw a model to be Mystique, because she didn't speak at all in the movie, and now she's one of our greatest actresses out there. <laughs> she's getting... She's one of the best we got. <laughs> <laughs> she's the best actress in the, in Hollywood, and she's being... Mystique. Pushed. Her character's being pushed into, like, the spotlight for no reason. But whatever. On to the next news, Jackson. Speaking of Channing Tatum, his wife... Jenna Dewan Tatum <laughs> is going to play Lucy Lane on the Supergirl TV show. Really? Channing Tatum was married? Mm-hmm. That's the most surprising thing in that sentence. I didn't know Channing Tatum was married. Mm-hmm. And he's got a late girlfriend that's like on TV. A wife that's on TV. A wife that's on TV. Yes. Is not famous enough to be in movies. Well, they, they were in a movie together, so. Magic Mike? No. The other dancing movie. <laughs> His other dancing movie, uh, Step Up. Oh, really? Huh. And she's going to play Lucy Lane? Yep, Lucy Lane. Who's Lucy Lane? Lois's sister. <laughs> okay. Lois Lane's sister. I didn't know Lois had a sister. 
And I didn't know Jenny paid him out of what. So this, all this news is, is meaningless to me. <laughs> I just wanted to bring it up because we were talking about Channing Tatum pretty much. And I could say, speaking of Channing Tatum, that was it. Okay. But next news, Jackson. Next news? Oh, what could it be? What could it be? Hmm, mysterious, isn't it? Mysterio? Mysterio's no. been cast. Let's say it's a little fantastic. Um, Fantastic Mr. Fox 2. No. Oh. Fantastic 4. Oh. Uh, oh. It hasn't been getting great reviews. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw I, that. I did see that, and like, it <clears throat> seems like it's not just gotten like not good reviews. It actually seems like it's gotten like horrible reviews. Yeah. Like terrible reviews. Terrible. Vomit inducing. <laughs> yeah, right now it's sitting at 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. My gosh. Which, just for perspective, Pixels is at 18%. Pixels is 10 points better. And, Eight um, points better. The first Fantastic Four, not the, not, um, the Roger Corbin one, but the one Tim Story did with Chris Evans. Yeah, the uh, Chris Evans, the 2000... Yeah, Chris Evans, Jessica Alba won 2005. Is that a, like, 27%. Oh, wow. And the second one, Rise of the Silver Surfer, is at 37%. Mm-hmm. And so... The, the Roger Corman is above this Joshua Trank Fantastic Four. The one that was <laughs> so bad that they couldn't even release it has a better Rotten Tomatoes score mm -hmm. than this movie. Yeah, and they they divvy it up so there's eight fresh reviews. So eight people said it's pretty good. I doubt they said it was really good. So they're probably just like, <laughs> it's I, right, you yeah, know. There was eight people that were like, you know, it wasn't that bad. But then there was a like, there's seventy nine people that said it was terrible. <laughs> they were like gross. So. I killed myself after watching this movie. <laughs> they're all dead. I killed myself and my children because I didn't so. want them to grow up in a world where movies were this bad. But, I mean, it seems like that's what it's... I mean, what it's saying is that, like, the cast is fine, but the movie's terrible. So, hmm. didn't think it'd be that bad, though. Yeah, I mean, from the, uh, from the trailers, the trailers looked pretty good. And, uh, you know, I was concerned that it was going to be dark, but I wasn't concerned that it was going to be this bad. Yeah, I mean, I just thought it was going to be real grounded and really dark. And people would respond to that, similar to, like, Dark Knight. Or maybe even like Man of Steel. No. I didn't. I never thought it was going to be like Dark Knight. No, but I'm just saying like that's the style it was going for. It was just darker, grounded, like the X-Men movies. It was just going to be darker and grounded. And, you know, there's going to be like some issues of like, I'm black and she's white, but we're still brother and sister because that's mm -hmm. how the world is now. We love each other just as much. When you get 10% on Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes, you are approaching uh, Catwoman level. Catwoman. Electra level. Mm -hmm. This is as bad as Catwoman. Yep. Where did they go wrong? I don't know. I mean, it didn't seem like it was going to... Like I said, it didn't seem like comic book people would love it. But it seemed like critics might like it. But I guess they didn't. Clearly not. So they Nobody made, liked it. They made a movie <laughs> that no one likes. So. It's... Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I guess uh, if the uh, Rotten Tomatoes scores... Or anything, you should probably save your money and not see this. I haven't seen it, and uh, it'll probably be a while before I do. I would like to see like why it's so bad, but uh, I don't know if I want to pay like ten bucks to find out why it's so bad. I yeah, I mean like... it's different than like it's like see like you said like it's Catwoman or Electra. You're kind of like I can see why this was bad, mm -hmm. but like Fantastic Four. I mean, like I said, it doesn't look like a comic book movie it doesn't look like marvel or even x-men or nothing like that like cool but it still looked interesting and it still looked like it had an interesting take you know just with the whole like it being related to like cronenberg's fly and stuff like that of just like oh we got these powers and they're not and we're not happy about it mm -hmm. like we're not just like oh this is so awesome that we have these powers now so i thought that would be interesting but I feel like the only way they could get me to come see it now is if I were like at a like a circus or a fair 
or something, and I walked by a booth, and they were like, there was like a guy there that was like, come on, come on, come see the worst movie of the year. Why is it so bad? You have to come in to find <laughs> out. Kind of like a two-headed woman <laughs> or something. A headless woman or a bearded lady. <laughs> a headless man. woman or the bearded lady. And it's like, bearded lady, it's so terrible, you'll have to see it for yourself. <laughs> She's like, I guess I have to. She's like, well, I'll pay a couple of dollars to see this <laughs> terrible movie. Yep. But on to the next one, Jackson. Another news item? Another news item. Another oh. casting news oh, let for me the CW movies or shows or whatever. CW shows. They cast somebody to be Vandal Savage. Really? Yep. Vandal Savage. Yep. The, uh, caveman villain who lived like millions of years or whatever. Yep. He's immortal. <laughs> Because he slept next to a meteor rock. He and slept now, next to a meteor, now he's, he's got, immortal. He's immortal. And now Super he's smart. being played by... I don't know. By a guy. But he looks just Doesn't, like Vandal Savage. What I if mean, it is Vandal Savage? I mean, he <laughs> looks like he's Vandal Savage, so... His name's Casper Crump. Casper Crump? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hilarious name. Yep. Clearly yeah. he can't be Vandal Savage. He no. can't be the real Vandal Savage. No, look at this because. dude. Look at this dude. He does look like he's lived like a million years. Can't you see him it's being like, like, I am Vandal Savage? He looks just like he's got the widow's mm -hmm. peak. He's got like the beard. Yeah. But I can't hair. see him saying, my name is Casper Crump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Casper Crump. Casper <laughs> Crump sounds like, he sounds like a Harry Potter character <laughs> that Harry Potter goes to and is like... Sir, I think Voldemort has gone in, and he's just like, well, Mr. Potter, I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> Casper Crump is very busy. <laughs> Hi, Casper Crump, but I don't have time for this. And oh, he's uh, just an idiot character that gets killed. The <laughs> 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 Voldemort busts in the wall and breaks his neck. That's the Harry Potter movie I want to see. Any more news items? Yes. Sorry. Um... Yeah, he was cast as Vandal Savage, but whatever. He looks like Vandal Savage, so whatever. Uh, well, hopefully he can act as well. Um, next news, Jackson. Okay. Can you guess what it is? I guess that Aunt May no. is going to have wheat cakes in this new movie. No. No? No. No. Why would that be a news? Why would that be big news? Because she's never had her iconic wheat cakes in any other movie. I guess. Like, in Raimi Spider-Man, no wheat cakes. Then they had the chance to bring them in into the next one, and still no wheat cakes. That's like doing, uh, it's like doing a Fallout That's because nobody without, likes wheat cakes that's like anymore. Doing a They're not relevant. Without, uh, without Nuka-Cola. Yeah, it's not Aunt the same. Aunt wheat cakes. It's not the same. It's like doing Star Wars without blue milk. <laughs> there is no blue milk in Star yeah, Wars, there is. isn't there? What well, is like it? Like, not Tatatouille, it's just blue milk. Uh, yeah, but it's not the same thing. It's like wheat Aunt cakes May's is different. Wheat cakes. Nobody likes wheat cakes anymore. Aunt May's wheat cakes. <laughs> yeah, back in you the should have seen back at like you the sixties and seventies of Aunt May handing Peter Parker these wheat cakes and the smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so he was about to eat these delicious wheat cakes, leaving the weed, leaving the reader to wonder. I've had wheat cakes before. I've never been that happy. <laughs> <laughs> these wheat cakes must be amazing. And I think that's what we'd like to see from this new one. I'd like to see Marissa Tomei serving that little boy wheat cakes. <laughs> no, that's not the news, though. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the news is the Deadpool trailer was released. Oh. A re they released a red band trailer and a green band trailer on Conan mm -hmm. with Brian Reynolds on there, too. He was on there promoting it, I guess. And he released the trailer. And, yeah, what'd you think? Yeah, I saw, I saw the trailer. I watched it on Conan, and I thought it was uh, I thought it was really good. I thought um, you know it kept within the spirit of Deadpool. It's really, it's like the movie made by a studio that's not Marvel that I've been most excited for in a long time. Like, you know, all the other trailers have been kind of like iffy for me. Like. But this one, just it looks like it's going to capture Deadpool. I think it was funny. I thought it looked cool. Uh, T.J. Miller was in it, and I thought he looked funny. Uh, so, so, yeah, I thought it looked great. Yep, um, I thought it looked great, too. Um, I think that um, it'll be interesting to see them do that, because it's like you said, it's a, it's, a, it's a movie that looks very different 
than a lot of other stuff. I mean, it looks like it's trying, it captures a lot of the, like, um, wanted, like, level type stuff where it's just kind of like, Cool, like shooting and power and stuff like that. Okay. Type of stuff. Like cool, like gunplay. Gunplay, like gunplay, like uh, superpowers and all that stuff. Because I mean, in comedy, I mean, because it looks like he's crazy. But I, what I didn't like about it was that he's like Ryan Reynolds before he gets turned into Deadpool. Like he should have been like really super serious and stuff before he became Deadpool to kind of show that he went through this experiment and came out crazy. Mm-hmm. Because at the beginning he's just like you have cancer and he's like yeah I'll make it because I need because cancer's in my brain liver and yeah prostate. the scene where they're like you know all things you have I cancer need. in your brains lungs liver and prostate and he's like all things I can live without you know and he's kind of got like a sense of humor and he's just being wheeled in he's like you know oh you're leaving me with less angry Rosie O'Donnell he seems to be pretty funny when he comes in but then he becomes like this horrible monster after. But I, I don't know. I don't mind that too much. I but mean, I don't mind it. Sense of humor. It's just I thought it probably would rather been funny. than him being like you know I'm a super serious man who's all about business. <laughs> I'm <a> business. <laughs> business, business, business. <laughs> I'm a busy businessman, all about business. And then he's on his cell phone or Bluetooth. You, know, like, you <laughs> can't like, have this business. Bluetooth. <laughs> I'm doing business. <laughs> and then he turns to sell, the sell, sell, sell. <laughs> No, but I was just saying that I felt like those jokes, even the jokes felt really weird anyways, because it's like Posh Spice and Rosie O'Donnell, I mean, mm-hmm. they haven't like really been that, relevant for a long time. <laughs> well, I like to think that once he becomes Deadpool, he becomes funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> he's like a guy that tries to be funny before, and then once he becomes Deadpool, then he actually becomes funny. He's like, I'm actually funny now. He's like, everybody thinks I'm funny now. Um... But yeah, yeah, I thought it. Uh, I thought it looked. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, what do you think? Um, what do you think might be happening in the movie? Mm-hmm. Probably what will happen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they didn't really give you a clear cut thing of like what the movie's gonna be about, but it looks like probably like a good two thirds of the movie's gonna be on that bridge <laughs> from the footage that they've shown. I mean, it seems like he'll probably like. Get the well, cancer. Let, let's do some like uh, some spec, some like speculation. Wild speculation. Do you think that they will have uh, like uh, talking, like breaking the fourth wall? Probably yes. Do you think Deadpool will uh, will know that he's a movie character? Maybe. Like like he is in the comic where you know sometimes he'll be like you know oh like oh we we haven't seen you I like I, when was the last time I saw you Deadpool and he was like ah issue sixteen and then the guy would be like what and he'd be like ah you won't get it <laughs> I, I I really I'd hope like so to see something like I that. would love to see that but I doubt I where doubt there's a Wolverine cameo and he's like I haven't seen you in a long time and he was like yeah X Men Origins Wolverine and he's like what <laughs> and he's like what do you mean. <laughs> I'd love to see that, but I doubt they'll do it. Because I think, I mean, you didn't really see a lot of the fourth wall breaking. Now, granted, I don't know. Like I said, they sh- they showed us a lot of, like, him on the bridge. So it looks like a lot of the movie will be on a bridge, but you don't know. It could just be what yeah. they have finished. Yeah, it's just probably what they have finished. But, I mean, a lot of the fourth wall breaking stuff you saw is, like, when he smelled the guns and was like, I'm touching myself tonight. And like uh, uh-huh. Daddy needs to express some rage and violence or whatever. Mm-hmm. It looked but like all that stuff in the trailer could wall. be construed as just him talking to himself, though. Yeah. Not necessarily to the audience. But then, well, at the end, he he was looking right at the camera, and was like, "I'm touching myself tonight." Yeah, but he could have been talking. To I himself. mean, he could have been talking to himself. But yeah. I hope there is some John fourth McClane wall breaking. Talks to himself half the time. I guess he's like, <laughs> "No, I know what a TV dinner feels like." <laughs> yeah. But I guess, yeah, I mean, we don't know. We'll see, but I hope so. I'd love to see that, uh, yeah. him being aware that he's a movie. Yeah, because I think it would be funny, like you said, to kind of poke fun at X-Men Origins, which they kind of did mm-hmm. in that teaser trailer where he was like from the studio that sewed my mouth shut or whatever. Yeah, if they did that, but they did it in movie, that would be hilarious. Yeah. I'd love, I'd, I would like to see that, mm-hmm. personally. I know there's like... You know, they take pot shots at Green Lantern and things like that, but that's not, uh, I'd rather them, like, take pot shots, not take pot shots, but just show that he's aware that he's a movie and this is a film series. Yeah. 
I mean, that'd cool. be cool. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Deadpool. The next news. Deadpool looked uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good, don't you think? I like it. I've said that like 15 times. Eh, he didn't say it 15, but whatever, Jackson. Um, What's the next news item, mate? Next news, Jackson. Doctor Strange. There's a uh, concept art that was shown at um some, like, thingamajig. Some type of, like, uh, what was it called? Somebody saw uh, Doctor Strange's concept art. Yeah, <laughs> Let whatever. Let me try and say this for you. Whatever. Someone saw Doctor Strange's Someone concept art. Someone saw Doctor Strange's concept art, and they described it as being very dark and being very... Um, yeah, just being very dark because the costume looks different, and it looked like it was going to be something completely different than like what you've seen in the comics. But it still looked very cool, supernatural, and badass. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then Marvel's um, exec, their president, came out and said that it's going to be like Fantasia for Marvel. Yeah, yeah I'm getting a lot of mixed messages because <laughs> one guy is like, you know, the Doctor Strange costume almost looks like it's out of a horror movie. But then another guy is like, it's like Fantasia. And I, that's not good to me. That's like saying it's like crap, because I hated Fantasia. Well, he's saying that Doctor Strange will be Fantasia. He didn't say the costume. He just said that... That the movie will be That Fantasia. the movie will be like a very dark Fantasia. I know. And well, which I movie was Fantasia? Fantasia. That was, was that the, the musical one, or was that yeah. the... No, I'm thinking of Anastasia. <laughs> they were both... <laughs> I, I didn't like you <laughs> Because I always remember being a kid and hearing the Fantasia was the one with Mickey Mouse and the hat, right? The yeah. Sorcerer's Apprentice one. I mean, I don't know what that movie was about. It was, it was just, a musical it one. It was almost like a vid- but remember because it, it had the storyline. But of remember, it was like um, it like had like the big scary devil in it and stuff. Whatever his name was. That was Anastasia. No, that was Fantasia. No. Anastasia was like about like some woman that went to like a big giant house or whatever. <laughs> woman going to a house. <laughs> That's one all of, I remember from Anastasia. I just remember mixing the two a lot. But whatever. One of Disney's best. <laughs> woman goes to house. <laughs> woman go to a house. Big house. That stays. That's Michael Eisner. <laughs> woman goes woman to house. Woman go house. Woman go house. Happy ending. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so it's kind of weird mixed messages where they're like, it's like Fantasia, but it's also like a horror movie. And then uh, Kevin Feige, excuse me, came out and said that uh, that this Doctor Strange movie was going to be very like steeped in the occult and supernatural as Doctor Strange has always been. So yeah, But whatever. <clears throat> we'll see more once we actually see concept art maybe actually released. Or like... Um, a trailer. <laughs> or the movie. <laughs> yeah. What does this movie come out? It's uh, next about year. this time next year. November next year. November next year. Is it before or after Suicide Squad? After. Because Suicide Squad comes out this time next year, August. August. So that's two months after that. So, I mean, just by like laws of like... Physics. Physics. <laughs> movie, movie trailer physics. Since we saw Suicide Squad already... Two months from now, we're going to see a Doctor Strange trailer. Probably not, because they, they haven't started, started shooting. shooting it. <laughs> well, because you know how DC is. They like to shoot their movies way ahead of time. <laughs> and then sit on them. <laughs> and sit on them for like two years, then release them. So that all the pop culture references <laughs> make no sense. Yep. When they're just like, Haha, you, how could a black man be president? And they're like, when did you shoot this? <laughs> Yeah, that's a line in Batman v Superman. Batman v Superman is like, ah, a black man could never be president. <laughs> like, what geez. a ridiculous notion. But yeah, I mean, yeah, because they shot, that was like in 2013 that they wrapped shooting. Yeah, it's like a long time. They've sat on it for a long time. I don't know why they do that. I think it's because of um, Ben Affleck's schedule and stuff. That like they yeah, needed to film they... it then. <laughs> Why or is after Suicide Squad already all the way done. Because I like to shoot on film, Jackson, and you know how hard it is to sh- cut film. Yeah. yeah. You gotta oh, actually yeah. cut it. And tape it. Good old film. Tape and cut it. Huh. Next news, though. Oh, what is it? What uh, could it be? Another, another, another casting news, if you will, Jackson. Oh. For CW's The Flash. Okay, so a lot of casting for that. 
What? Okay, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> they, they've cast Wally West slash Kid Flash. Oh, really? Flash. Wally yeah. West, my favorite Flash. Mm-hmm. Maybe one day we'll get to see uh, Wally West be like the main character of that show. Probably not. I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, you could do it kind of maybe similar to how Arrow did it. Yeah, where he's like, gone for Barra, three Barry, episodes. <laughs> Barry gets stabbed and like is gone for like six episodes or whatever and then comes back. But like Wally's the Flash. Yeah, and then Wally is kicked off the show after that. And, <laughs> Wally, and then Barry's like, get away! Get out of my show! <laughs> and he's like, this is my show. Yeah, you need to go like fix cars somewhere else. But yeah, um, Wally West, um, since he's related to Iris West and on the show Iris West is black and in the comics she's black now. Uh, he's gonna be black on the show, so yeah, I can't I can't really pronounce the name of the guy, but he was an insurgent. So he was an insurgent. He was or in insurgent. insurgent. He was oh, in insurgent. The Divergent movies. The Divergent insurgent movies. Yes, Diver- divergent insurgent. Divergent insurgent. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. What's what are they all? It's divergent insurgent and allegiant convergent. No, the last one's like allegiant or allegiant. allegiant. Convergence would be better, where it's the convergence. I don't know. Maybe it is the convergence. diversion and the insurgents. I don't know. I don't care. I don't read it. Okay. Okay. Well, then. All right. So yeah, Wally West. <laughs> I love Wally West. So it, it'd be cool to see him. Oh, I wish though. I, I kind of wish for the TV show. As much as I love Wally West, I love Wally West as the Flash. But as far as Kid Flash, I feel like uh, Bart Allen, Impulse, is the superior Kid Flash. Just because the story is so much more interesting. And I feel like I'd like to see that more on this TV show than Wally West. I'd like to see Bart Allen come from the future and be like, Hey, I'm your like great-grandson from the future, and I also have these speed powers, and... And then they could also you could play on this little bit of mistrust that, you know, you just had this horrible bad guy from the future. So why would you trust this kid from the future as well? So I, I don't know. I, I would like to see, I'd like to see Impulse, but I think because we're getting Wally here, it means we probably won't ever get to see Impulse. Or at least not for a while. I mean, you might have Wally on there and then, you know, down the road they might use Bart. I guess so, but... A season or two. But that's just how I feel. Oh, Whatever. Look, Wally's fine. Whatever, Jackson. I don't care. Next news. Jeez. X-Men TV show. Oh, yeah. Fox is oh. trying to do an X-Men TV show, but the problem is, is that they only own the movie rights, and they don't really own TV rights mm. to the characters. So, if Marvel lets them, then they can only use the characters they own. <laughs> Really? They can't use like, they can't say like we're gonna do an old man Logan TV show. So so we can do we can have the Hulk and Hawkeye in there. So well, like technically Marvel could make like a X Men Netflix show or something, right? If they wanted to, yeah, but it probably couldn't be connected to their universe. Yeah, but you like reboot it and you <laughs> make the X Men where they get the yellow costumes and you know. You know, you use, like, Cyclops, and you make those characters cool. And you're just like, yeah, two competing X-Men things. <laughs> you know, just because they do that all the time, where they're like, you know, we're making two different Sherlock's, and we're making two different Frankenstein movies and Dracula movies. And yeah, but they can do that because it's the pub- it's public domain stuff. It's it's a little easier yeah. to well, do that. Well, let's do that, stuff. but it, they're easy to do that here because they've got X-Men on movies, they've got X-Men on TV. You make two yeah, but things. it's it's not good business. I mean, anyway. DC's doing it themselves with Flash and the TV show and Flash and the movies, and they own both of them. Yeah, they I own both they of them. They don't have to do that. Yeah, they don't they have do. to worry about doing a deal or nothing like that. I'm sure. If, I'm sure but Marvel, Marvel will could probably make have their to do own X Men TV show without a deal. They could make a Star Jammers show. <laughs> That's what I think that uh, that Fox should do if they uh, if they get the right if they are able to make a TV show. Is uh, they ought to go for the Star Jammers and make like a uh, like a '90s style Star Trek like show like <laughs> with Corsair and uh, like, like it's and all the uh, all the great space characters they have from the Fantastic Four. You could have Galactus on there, Silver mm. Surfer. Uh, 
Yeah, but it would be on Fox, and like Fox is always yeah, it'd be on Fox. Fox yeah, is always for notorious. Sutherland. Fox is always <laughs> notorious for like playing. But Fox is notorious for like having really good shows and then canceling them. Yeah, but there's really good shows that they've had that they haven't canceled. Like what? Like Twenty Four. They canceled Twenty Four. <laughs> yeah, but they, they let it go on for like nine seasons first. <laughs> yeah, but they canceled it. Yeah, just because they eventually canceled it. Yeah, but they still did cancel it. They yeah. probably could have kept going on. They canceled that. Yeah, they could have canceled X-Files. It. I would be all right if they... They didn't end it. Nobody nobody was like, we're going to end 24. They were like, cancel. Yeah, but I'd be all right <laughs> with like nine seasons of a cool Star Jammer show, if, that, if that's what I got. Yeah, but you might only get one season because they're like, we want to do Lucifer or well, Minority that, Report. That's more Star Jammers than I'd ever thought I'd ever get. One season, <laughs> like if they just if it was just like Firefly, where we had like thirteen episodes, Firefly, of Jackson. an awesome Star Jammers Firefly like show, you know that'd be awesome. You have the dude from Firefly play Corsair. Nathan you can Tilly. just bring that whole cast back and put them in makeup. <laughs> <laughs> put them in makeup and make them the yep. Star Jammers. Yeah, you use the same scripts. There we go. <laughs> All thirteen episodes. You just, just change the uh, name. All you got to do is just re-air those 13 episodes. Go in and digitally make yeah. up people. ADR the names. People. Be like, uh, Corsair. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, Corsair, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Why do they have to rhyme? <laughs> Corsair, <laughs> what are you doing over there? Because it's a musical. That's what you didn't know, Jackson, is that <laughs> it's a musical. What would you like to see uh, them make as a uh, TV show, X-Men TV show? I'd like them to make anything as an X-Men TV show, because what I'm hoping is that Fox is like, we really want to do an X-Men show, and Marvel's like, okay, we'll let you do it, but you got to give us Fantastic Four back or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Come on, why are, you, why are you thinking about it? Jeez, you just released a crappy Fantastic Four movie. You're not doing Fantastic Four right. They're like, yeah, but... Don't, don't give us no butts. <laughs> no if ands or butts. <laughs> don't give made. us no if ands or butts. You're not using them right. Let's give it back to us. Just give us Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, and Galactus, and Annihilus, and Kang, and all those guys. We could make Netflix shows at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, just give them that, and then that way... I mean, honestly, could they do that? Could they make a Fantastic Four and the X-Men Netflix show... And then bring the Avengers on there. Yeah, but then you wouldn't get to see them in the movies, though. You yeah, but they would be on Netflix. You like, have to you go see it really, on Netflix. You, you can't really utilize Galactus on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. You're just like, we're making a two and a half hour movie for Netflix. <laughs> but and it's, it's still a movie. Fully funded. It's going to have to be a two and a half episode of... <laughs> uh, it'd be, okay, it'd be, yeah, it'd be like a... Two two or three episodes, kind of like Sherlock or whatever. It's like two or three episodes, and it's like a full-length movie, and they release it on Netflix, but it's got like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and all of them in the Avengers, and then you get like whoever they cast as a Fantastic Four and the X-Men. They all meet together, and they all fight like Galactus, Galactus Silver or Silver. Thanos. Annihilus. All of them. <laughs> yeah, you just use the ones in Fox that you can't use. You the Kang, Annihilus... And Galactus all get together and are like, you know, let's take out these. <laughs> <laughs> let's destroy Earth. And they're just like, oh my gosh. Oh. Well, that's all I got on that. I, I really hope. I, I hope. I hope. That's, that's what I was hoping for. Because when I first heard about Fantastic Four, I was like, I hope this sucks so much. That Marvel will get the rights back to Fantastic Four. I doubt they will, because Fox will probably be a holes about it and be like, "We're gonna sit on this forever and not give it back to Marvel." But yeah, we'll, well, the problem is, is you know, as far as the Fantastic Four, you know, I don't really care that Marvel has that back so much, as the Fantastic Four package has a whole lot, a home. It's got so many more rich characters that they're never, Fox is never going to use in a Fantastic Four movie that Marvel could be using. It's got so many great villains, just like the Badoon and the Skrulls and the uh, Annihilus and uh, Kang. All characters that are never going to be in a Fantastic Four movie. 
and Fox just has them in their way to them. So even more so getting them back, I would rather see Marvel get all those characters back just because it's more villains for them to be able to use, more great villains that they don't have. Doctor yeah. Doom is another one. Yeah, I mean Doctor Doom is the one. Messed Avengers up Doctor Doom every time they've done him, and he is such a great villain that I feel like Marvel at least would have a chance to nag him, to uh, to nail him. I mean, <laughs> nail him like get him. Right. Yeah, like I, I, know, him I know like, what you mean. You know, I know what you mean. But dirty mind. We understand, Jakes, and I understand. But um, moving on, that's about it for news. Oh, really? That's all yeah. the news? Unless you want to talk about that spoiler, but it's not a spoiler. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, we won't talk about it. Just um, bring it up ominously and then not talk about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, moving on, Jackson. Okay, well, moving what's the next, uh, what's the next chamber of Straight Outta Comics? The next chamber, Jackson, mm-hmm. is... Was it our spotlights? Spotlights, yeah. Spotlights. Our spotlights, Jackson. I thought that it would be fitting that since, um, whatchamacallit's coming out, Fantastic Four's coming out, new origin story. Stupid origin story. They're going to come up with a new origin story for the Fantastic Four, and I thought, well, you know what would be interesting is if we talked about regular origin stories, but no. I don't want to talk about regular or- origin stories, Jackson. You know what type of origin stories I want to talk about? Weird origin stories. Really? Stupid origin origin stories. Stupid or- There's no superheroes with stupid origin stories. They've all got oh, origin oh, stories oh. worthy of movies. Oh, oh, Jackson, if you could hear yourself right now, you'd laugh. Because <laughs> there are some stupid ones out there, Jackson. Some really stupid ones. Lay it on me. First, I got one right here. Right out the gate, Jackson. There's one. His name's the Wizard. Robert the Frank. Wizard. Let me preface this. The Wizard, for anybody that doesn't know, is a uh, he's a very famous uh, Golden Age superhero in Marvel. He's much like the the Flash. He's a speedster that can speed around. He's a classic hero. He's been on an episode of uh, the Spider-Man TV show in the '90s, I think. You know, he's 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 a mainstay in Marvel. So you're going to tell me that this Marvel mainstay has a stupid origin? Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, like you said, he's from the Golden Age. So he was created back in the 30s and the 40s. Um, he was created back in the 30s and the 40s when Marvel was originally called Timely Comics. And like you said, he was created with the super speed abilities. But... His original, his original origin story is the fact that he took a trip. He's a doctor, Dr. Robert Frank, and he took a trip to Africa <clears throat> with his father. And while he was taking that trip to Africa... Did he shoot famous lions there? He shot famous lions. No, he, um, he was just like on a research trip or whatever. I don't know. I didn't read the comic. Jeez. But he went, he went on a trip to Africa... And he got Ebola. No, he went to Africa and got bit by a snake. A cobra, to be exact. Mm, a cobra. A cobra. So the cobra was radioactive and it gave him the super speed to slither around like a snake? <laughs> no, Jackson. Oh. He was dying. <laughs> oh. So unlike most superhero animal bites, it actually It was a regular <laughs> cobra. <laughs> okay, a regular cobra. Not irradiated. Not Toxic. Mo- not a mutant cow cobra. It was a regular, regular African ass cobra. cobra. <laughs> a regular cobra. He got bit by that cobra, and um, to save his life, his father decided, oh, you know, it'd be a good idea. You know, uh, cobra's main... Um, natural predator. Yeah, the natural predator of a cobra is a mongoose. So, to counteract that the cobra venom that is in my son, you know what I'm going to give him? What would you give your son that... That anti venom <laughs> that had cobra venom inside of him. You'd probably give him an anti venom. No, he thinks that since the natural predator of a cobra is a mongoose, he takes the blood of a mongoose and injects it into his son to counteract the cobra the cobra venom. venom. Oh wow, that's dumb. <laughs> and after that, the mongoose blood 
Which I mind you is not irradiated either. <laughs> regular ass mongoose regular blood. Regular ass mongoose blood gives him super speed. <laughs> super speed. Right after that. And mind you, like the wizard, he doesn't have just like the speed of a mongoose. He's got super like <laughs> yeah. flash speed, like flash. sound barrier speed. Not not mongoose, not the speed of a mongoose. <laughs> it gave him super speed. That's insane. Yep. Uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like the father should have been like he could have sold that as like, hey, if you inject yourself with mongoose blood, you'll be super speedy. I mean, you could sell sell that to the military. Imagine an army of soldiers able to move as fast as mongoose. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what that was about, but I guess they just thought. Well, I guess whoever created them was just like, oh, mongooses are the natural predators of a cobra. So somebody's and mongooses are fast, I guess. And if you get bit by a cobra and then you get injected with mongoose blood, you get to power. But usually, they usually like irradiate. A animal, and then you get bit by that, and then you mm -hmm. can get the powers. But just it's just regular old mongoose blood. I wonder how many people tried to do that after reading the comic, get bit by a cobra, and then inject themselves with mongoose blood. I'd say fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. Fourteen people, people died <laughs> because of They're its like, This didn't story. have help at all. <laughs> yeah, Golden Age comics are pretty stupid. Uh, and I think it's pretty much because those writers back then were just like, yeah, they were just. Uh, so I came up with another fifteen origins. So <laughs> can you pay me for the day? <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, they had some sort moment. of J. Jonah Jameson like boss that was like, "Get me fifteen new superhero origins." And it's just like, oh, what else can I do? Uh, okay, <laughs> so I made like six origins already. What else have I not used? Mongooses. I mean, right. yeah, that's the thing with Stan Lee is when, like, he created the mutants, it was just kind of like, eh, they're born like that. <laughs> yep, he was a genius among men. Mm -hmm. But, uh, next one. Next ridiculous. I got, I got a good list of them. I got about six of them here. Oh, wow. So, um, Elongated Man. Oh, classic, classic DC superhero, Elongated Man. Classic. Uh, you may have remembered him if you've ever read the, uh, the story uh, Identity Crisis. About uh, his wife getting killed. He's sort of like a uh, kind of a cross between Plastic Man and Batman. He's a de he's a silly like stretchy <coughs> guy, but he can also he's also a detective as well. He's a uh, you know he's a really classic hero, classy guy, classy guy, classy guy. Stupid origin. What? Um, Ralph Dibney, aka mm -hmm. Elongated Man, um, as a young man. Before he was a superhero, he was always fascinated with contortionists. People that can contort their body, kind of like um, double-jointed people that can like put the arms behind their back and their neck, their legs behind their neck, that type of stuff. Okay, double-jointed people. Does yeah. that fit in? Isn't double jointed like you could like put your legs behind your neck and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that yeah, what a contortionist people they can like fit into a box? Oh, you're just like playing that. along with me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought I literally was saying something wrong. <laughs> you were like, yeah, I'm blowing his mind. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh man. <laughs> no, no. Or no. I thought I was, I was saying, saying something yeah. wrong. I, okay, you were playing with me. Whatever. Next. Okay. Or playing along. Um. So he was. He was. He was fascinated with contortionists, just being like, oh my gosh, this dude put his leg around his neck. It's crazy, man. Um, how did you do this? And he has like talking to him. He's like, how do you do this? How can you contort your body like this? And they were like, you know what, man? We drink this stuff called gin gold. Gin gold, we, I tell you, is the stuff that makes us contort like motherfuckers, right? And okay. <laughs> Ed Ralph Dibney was like, oh man, I need to get me some gin gold. So gin gold, it's a soda? Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's a popular soda, I guess. Like Which is weird. It's like if somebody was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> drink Coke. <laughs> what, I do, what I do to be able to be this double jointed is I drink some Fanta. Or I drink some RC Cola. It was popular. It says popular soda, well, so it's like I mean, Coke. <laughs> popular as like, you know, it's in the eye of the holder. RC is popular <laughs> to the people who make RC. Yeah, but it says it was a popular drink. They're probably like, we're like the 15th most popular soda. <laughs> but whatever. I okay. guess like so I said, it's like Coke. If anybody can get their hands this on Coke it. Coke and it makes our bones rubbery. I guess. More whatever. rubbery. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay. But what, go ahead Comics are ridiculous. Ahead. 
So he drinks the soda? He, well, he doesn't buy re- the regular soda, right? <laughs> he does. Diet. What he, <laughs> he buys diet, <laughs> diet gin gold. No. He decides that, well, I want to become even better than a contortionist. So what does he do? He, uh, he works with chemistry. He, um, he learns chemistry. Mm. <laughs> he learns how to <laughs> become a chemist and creates a con- super concentrated version of gin gold and drinks that. And is able to become elongated man. <laughs> wow. So this <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so this soda, this popular soda, like uh not RC Cola, but like Pepsi or something, the you find out that contortionists drink Pepsi because it makes their bones more rubbery, which I guess, sure. <laughs> and then he decided to make a super concentrated version of this. Uh, popular soda that turned him into Mr. Fantastic or yep. Stretch Armstrong, to where yep. he can Gave him the ability stretch of his elasticity. arm around the room. That's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Truly, I hope that guy didn't get paid for making that origin. I don't know. I don't know. It says here that it was also, he made it from a super extract from a rare gingo fruit from Yucatan? 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 Never heard of it. Which gave him his elastis. So okay, so that's all right. You can tell. Was a silver. He was a silver age guy too. So he was after. That's no excuse. That's after. No, I'm saying that's worse because it's after. I know the wizard. (laughs) There's no excuse for his origin to be that dumb. Back in the '40s, sure, but this was like the '60s. Yeah, that's when you were getting people like you know um, the Spider-Man, Fantastic Four. People are great with great... Great origins. Great origins. And you come to my desk with this shit. <laughs> Gin gold, what is this? Like RC Cola? Like, no, not just like Cola. <laughs> well, well, not better. like RC Cola, more popular than RC. <laughs> it's popular, so yeah. <laughs> It's like Fanta. Ooh, well, Fanta was... <laughs> Fanta was created by Nazis. But, uh, next guy, next guy. Next guy with a terrible word. Um, Ultra Boy. Oh, Ultra Boy. From the Legion of Superheroes. One of the best Legion of Superhero characters. The character who can, uh, he's got all the powers of Superman, but he can only use them one at a time. Mm-hmm. So he can't fly and, and shoot punch. Fly. And, or, shoot laser vision or whatever. Or punch yeah, but he's, a, he's, a, he's another classic hero. You're going to tell me his story is stupid too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was his origin? His... He was an alien, right? Huh? I said he was an alien, right? Well, yeah, he's an alien. But when they when they created all of the Legion uh, before they had created Ultra Boy, or at least explained his origin, everybody else's origin was kind of like, oh, they came from a planet where they could do this, or he came from a planet where they could do this, or you know, yeah. so on and so forth. Makes sense. They all come from planets with, that allows them to use their powers, pretty much like so. Just like Superman. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much just sense. like Superman. But with um, Ultra Boy, they decided to do it a little different. You know, like I said, he's an alien, but like he was like on a spaceship, and he was like flying through space, and appar- and apparently there's like a big giant like fish, like fish monster in space. A space fish. A space fish. Huh. And he flies through it. He flies inside of the monster and then flies through it like he. Crashes through it, like, kills it, goes through it. But because of the exposure inside of the fish, the radiation within the fish, which they did do a radiation now, which (laughs) makes sense. It was space radiation. It gave him those abilities, his abilities. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So they were like, (laughs) this guy, whoever made this Ultra Boy character, was like, I could just make him an alien where he has all the powers of Superman, but I want to make him an alien who is in a spaceship and gets eaten by a fish, and that gives him his powers. Mm-hmm. I mean, he went the extra mile, but it was a dumb mile. It was a dumb mile, and I thought, and it was kind of really weird because um, Ultra Boy's real name is Jonah. 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 Right. J O J O dash J O space N A H. Jonah. So. If you remember from Bible study, Jackson, Jonah, huh? <laughs> Jonah got eaten by a giant whale, 
Similar to how Ultra Boy got eaten by a giant space ah, fish. Ah, yeah, I remember that uh, biblical story where Jonah gets eaten by the whale. He comes out with superpowers, and then he destroys the Assyrians <laughs> with his ultra vision. <laughs> no, they didn't, they didn't happen just like that, but <laughs> close enough. All right, all right, yeah. Uh, Ultra Boy's got a way dumber origin than I thought he did. Yep, but I guess that I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one for you, Jets. Another one. Oh, you got another one? I got for another you? one for you. Oh, yeah. what's the next one, Rock? Um, another one from Timely Comics, which was, you know, um No, another one from Atlas Comics. Because what happened was Joe Simon, Jack Kirby, same people that created Captain America. Oh yeah. <clears throat> they had created him for Timely Comics. And that when they had because they hadn't really they didn't really kill off Captain America, did they? But whatever. Um, yeah, Joe, they had killed him. They off. had killed him off? Because he, uh, yeah, because he fell off the plane or whatever. Okay, but... Well, no, no. Because I, yeah. I thought Stan Lee revamped that. Maybe. I they, thought it was just done and then they brought him back. I don't know. Maybe more exposed. research needs to be done with this. Whatever. Captain America was gone. <laughs> <laughs> but Captain America hadn't been in Timely Comics, a.k.a. Marvel Comics at the time. Mm-hmm. So... Joe Simon and Jack Kirby were upset to hear when Marvel decided to relaunch Captain America within the Avengers and a new comic without them, without Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Oh. So they were very upset with that, so they decided to create another patriotic character. Really? A Called Fighting American. The Fighting American. The Fighting American. Great name. Great right name. <laughs> Terrible origin. Let me tell you, Jackson... <clears throat> The character, uh, the main character's name is um, Nelson Flagg, I believe. Nelson Flagg. Nelson Flagg. Very patriotic name, Nell Nelson Flagg. Nelson Flagg. He's an unathletic guy, you know, he's just kind of like, whatever, I'm unathletic, who cares, I don't have a I care in the world. I don't need to use my athleticism. I don't need athleticism, who cares. His older brother, who is a star athlete... His name is Johnny Flag. He's a star <laughs> athlete. Great. Uh, he's in tip-top shape. War hero. And he's also on TV. He's also a popular TV news commentator. Okay. Kind of like Hope if Rush Limbaugh <laughs> was a cool Captain America looking dude. Okay. So if Rush Limbaugh was in top physical condition... That's what. That's who Johnny Flag is. Johnny Flag is Rush Limbaugh. Well, actually, it's probably more like Chris Kyle. It's probably more like Chris Kyle, American Sniper. If he was like Chris Kyle, and then he came back, and then was like Rush Limbaugh, then yeah. Okay, so you've got this American Sniper dude, you know, super he's a war hero. condition war hero. He's also a John TV McKay. commentator. Uh, so, so yeah, what, 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 where's the origin there? He sounds like a pretty, pretty great superhero. Well, let me tell you, Jackson. Like Johnny Flag. American. Johnny Flag um, was on TV news. He's always talking about how much he hates communists. He's like, I'm an anti-communist. Communists suck, and whatever. And um, it's garnered him a lot of infamy with communists because, of course, he's going around saying he hates communists. Who thought that communists wouldn't like that? So communists decide to kill him, which they do. They kill Johnny. They kill. They kill Johnny Flag Jackson. His last name's Flag, like the American flag. They wow. kill Johnny Flag. Sound like bad guys. These communists. They kill Johnny Flag, and his brother Nelson is so upset. He's like, I'm so angry and so upset that he makes a promise to Johnny. He's like, I'm going to hunt down and kill those communists that killed you. This sounds pretty awesome. So he gets in tip-top condition? No! <laughs> no? He goes the lazy route. <laughs> okay. Instead of, lazy into, <laughs> it's, instead of getting into tip-top condition like his brother, he decides that. He's like, oh, well, I don't really want to get in tip-top condition. <laughs> he's like, can't you guys just like help me out? So he signs up for the U.S. The U.S. military have a new project out. It's called Project Fighting American. Oh. He signs up for that. Oh, so they inject him with Captain America <laughs> Super Soldier Serum. No. <laughs> okay. They don't inject him. No Super Serum. No nothing. It's a lot weirder than that. They're <laughs> able to take Nelson's life force and his mind 
and transfer it into Johnny's body. Johnny's dead corpse. Johnny's dead corpse. <laughs> His rotting corpse. His re it says here revitalized and strengthened corpse. So I guess they inject him with super soldier <laughs> serum. They inject this dead body with super soldier serum and then they're like, get in there. <laughs> and it's like, why can't you just inject me with super soldier serum? And they're like, it's a lot harder. Like <laughs> so they they stick him in Johnny's body. And he takes he takes over Johnny's body. He's Johnny at this point. He takes over. He, well, he doesn't become Johnny, but he assumes his identity. He's like, I'm Johnny. I'm going to take his job. You know, I'm going to work for as him and stuff like that. And I'm going to, you know, fight the communists that killed my brother. That's the creepiest superhero ever. <laughs> yeah. the, the brother that steals his brother's body. <laughs> And goes into his mind and then steals his job and his life <laughs> and his wife, probably. <laughs> and then he also has super... I mean, it's like, well, if you're going to go after terrorists, wouldn't it be easier to just, like, get in, like, shape yourself? Yeah. I mean, other than being like, I got an idea. Why don't you put my body in his war hero body? <laughs> put my mind in his war hero body. That's a better idea. <laughs> And well, I'll that's the fighting America. It was the military's idea, so the military <laughs> was like, "Well, we're the ones that came up." Yeah, they're like, "We got men staring at goats in the other room." <laughs> they're saying the weirdest shit we're doing, <laughs> and they're so, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> doing Co military cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, terrible, terrible, terrible. It's a terrible origin, but terrible. it's somewhat expected because I've never heard of the fighting American. <laughs> And rightly so, which they should bring him back. That'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but on to the next one, Jackson. Um, this is kind of the last one, and it's kind of a surprising one because he's super famous. He's a super famous superhero. Oh, the really? Flash. Oh, the Flash. The Flash. You're going to tell me that the Flash has a double origin? I watched it on the cartoon. Not the cartoon, the TV show. It, yeah, but you got to admit. Pretty stupid. <laughs> he gets, as we all know, Barry Allen. He's a forensic scientist, um, and one night he's working. He's always he's always late. He's very slow, which they kind of portray that on the show as well. And then he gets superpowers, and he can go really fast. But the way he gets the superpowers is very stupid. Um, <clears throat> what he does is, um, like I said, he's a forensic scientist, so he's got a lab in his like you know, office or whatever, and, like, one night he's, like, working, and he, like, is, like, sitting back, leaning back behind, like, some, um... Chemicals? Chemicals. He's, like, yeah, it's, like, a chemistry set. He's leaning on, like, a table of chem of chemical stuff, and he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and he's not... He doesn't have a care in the world. I read the panel. That's what it was. He's smoking a cigarette. He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and, like, he, like, he accidentally falls... In the 60s. Yeah, as everybody did in the 60s. He falls back onto the chemicals. They fall onto the floor. They smash into other chemicals. And all the chemicals and all the gases and stuff, they start to com they start to get together and form into, like, some type of gas that eventually he inhales, and he gets covered in chemicals, and he's just like, Ah! And then he gets hit by lightning. <laughs> It was like, this day couldn't get any worse. <laughs> and then he gets struck by lightning. So, the craziness of getting chemicals spilled on you, and then also getting hit by lightning. I love it how, like, it's just, like, CSI forensic chemicals, too. It's not like it's, like, super lab. It's like... Like, yeah, it's just this like, could happen to uh, anyway. Caruso in CSI Miami. <laughs> he's like, oh, these CSI chemicals fell all over me, and then he gets struck by lightning, and he's the Flash. A totally yeah. different TV show. <laughs> and he's, yeah, he's like, I guess he got fired. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Barry Allen's origin. Well, that can't be all, though. Well, that's Barry Allen's origin. Yeah. Now, we all know that there's more than one Flash, right? Yeah, there's... You, we were just talking about Wally West, right? <clears throat> now, you would think that, oh, we already made Barry Allen's origin. How would we do Wally West's origin? You know how they did Wally West's origin? They just did the same thing. They did the again. same <laughs> damn thing. So he was in the same lab. <laughs> you had Barry Allen was working in. 
He got spilt with some chemicals and struck by lightning. <laughs> oh. So he was like, my nephew, Wally <laughs> yeah. West, is in here. He's like, hey, you know, stay in my lab. Don't touch anything. I'm going to be gone for a second. He goes out of the room. Wally West is like, hey, tsh, everything <laughs> breaks just like it did. And then lightning strikes the same <laughs> place <laughs> yep and he gets and he comes in and he's like i guess lightning does strike in <laughs> the same place twice wow. <laughs> and he puts on his caruso glasses and then walks out <laughs> while he's writhing on the floor he's like ah yeah so same thing for wally west if it uh if it makes it any better I believe that's Jake Eric Sargent, too. <laughs> Except without the lightning. He just spills chemicals, chemicals on himself. himself. So it wasn't the lightning that gave them their powers. It was the CSI <laughs> yeah, chemicals. Yeah, chemicals. It was the iodine and the <laughs> well, formaldehyde. And... Yes, I mean, it's it's very similar. It says that Jay Garrick... Um... Oh, no. Um, yeah, Jay Garrick is like... Um... He works in a lab, similar, and he takes a smoking break, <laughs> just like <laughs> just like Barry. I wonder if Wally was taking a smoking break too, as a twelve-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah, everybody's taking smoking breaks, and they all run out. Um, he's taking a smoking break, and he um, accidentally inhales hard water vapors. Hard water vapors? Yep. Like dry ice, hard water. I don't know. Weird. And that makes him super fast. Yep, and he can run at superhuman speed and has uh, fast reflexes. That, but it's been retconned so many times. What does hard water have to do with anything? Oh, what does that have to do with speed? That's, oh. that's stupider than the mongoose. Cause it oh, mongoose you know what it is? It's just like water that's got like a bunch of minerals and stuff in it. It's just like, oh, like, like, hard... like it's the opposite of soft water. Like <laughs> Oh, hard water is the real... <laughs> <laughs> it's like... A... It's the opposite of like soft water. That it's not. It's unfiltered water. <laughs> so if I turned off our water filter, we'd have hard water vapors yeah, that we, we could, could inhale and become the flash during our smoke break. <laughs> so it would never happen because we don't smoke. Yeah, smoking's bad. Yeah. But uh, don't smoke. That's dumber than the wizard switch. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, this is hard <laughs> water. Like, oh, Ooh. unfiltered. <laughs> Drink unfiltered <laughs> water. Why? Um. <laughs> Just like everybody in the 40s. <laughs> this is damn well water. But like I said, it's been retconned so many times that it's just like... Oh, I'm sure it had to be. <laughs> that, like, it says it was retconned. Retcons imply the inhal inhalation simply activated a latent meta metagene. So he's kind of more like a mutant. Mm. Yeah, because that, I can't imagine that, <laughs> like... <laughs> although I think that's hilarious that if it was that way, that he's a mutant, and he just, he happened to inhale some hard water that day, and the whole time he thought, like, oh, it gave me superpowers. <laughs> and, like, sometime later he was talking to Golden Age Green Lantern, and he was like, how'd you get your powers? And he was like, I inhaled some hard water. And he's like... Are you, Are, sure? you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? That's what I mean. Was it because I was smoking? <laughs> I mean, it, it must have been the combination of smoking <laughs> and smelling this hard water. I'd love to me. see that in an X-Men movie where, like, there's a kid who's, like, mutant powers awaken one day, but it's, like, while he's doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, like, jerking off, and he's, like, oh, And then like, he's, like, he's got, like, fire powers. And he's, something. like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> They said they don't didn't do it. And he was like, well, I was jerking off, and I got yeah. superpowers. I was using aloe lotion. <laughs> and that that aloe lotion. First time I ever used aloe lotion. <laughs> <laughs> and this happens. <laughs> and they're like, I think you're just a mutant. And he's a superhero for 50 years before he realizes, oh, I'm just a mutant. Yeah, I'm just a mutant. Oh, yeah, those are dumb. All dumb origins. All dumb origins. But well, why are the origins like Batman that are good? <laughs> well, I mean, Batman's been retconned. Batman was, Batman's parents were killed. Yeah. And then after that, he just became like a private detective that's, with a gun. Yeah, that's the perfect origin. Where it's like, <laughs> my parents have died. Yeah, just, just everybody's <laughs> parents need to die, and then that And helps. that gives me superpowers. Somebody important, a guardian, parental figure in somebody's life, dies. Yeah. Uncle, parents, widow, you know, uh, nephew. Buddy, son, buddy, son, family. 
but I get an extra one. Bonus. Bonus track. Bonus. Bonus track. Excuse me. Bonus. Stupid. Origin story. A little known, kind of similar to um, American. Fighting American. Fighting American. Named Scarlet Avenger. Hmm. He was a um, similar. He like was we the were first Avenger. <laughs> he was the Scarlet. Ah. Um, he was a. He was as a, as a boy. He was like in a plane, and like he was there with his mother and his father, and the plane crashed. Everybody died except him, and he became. Oh, Super. much like Batman. Much like his Batman. His parents died. Yeah, because the plane to be... the plane was tampered with and they all died. And so he, you know, he survives. And he's like, I will vow vengeance on my parents or whatever. And that's how he became a superhero. I mean, that sounds that sounds great. That sounds like Batman's origin. It does, but I mean, that's why Batman is so he didn't, sad. He didn't come away from the he didn't come away from the crash unscathed though. He did really? get a slight <laughs> superpower, <laughs> in a way. If, if we call it that? If we call it that. He can't smile. <laughs> so, he's got the superpower that he can't smile. Well, what happens is, I guess, during the crash, he, like, got... I don't know what happened. Maybe some, some shrapnel got caught in his mouth or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, <laughs> he's got like some a big shard of the plane he's got stuck in his mouth or whatever, and it like cut some um, muscles and some tendons and shit. And he, fucked up his muscles. It <laughs> fucked up his like um oh, what is it? It's <sighs> nerves. Fucked up like his nerves and stuff. And he can't smile. He can't feel those nerves to smile anymore. He doesn't have the muscle memory or the nerves to smile. So he's, so he's always not scowling. Not only did you kill my parents, but those small times of joy that I had I before without my parents, I couldn't smile because I lost that ability. That's that's like Batman to the hundredth degree. <laughs> he's like, I can't he's like, even smile. when I want to be happy, I can't smile. <laughs> my parents are dead. And then I have to remember that my parents are dead. And then I have to fight crime and clowns and stuff. <laughs> Yep. Huh. Well, I guess even Batman's origin can be stupid. Well, they've they've made Batman's origin cooler over the years. I think a lot of these people, it's like I said, Jay Garrix, they never even really changed. They were still like, you smoked hard. <laughs> you you smoked and <laughs> you then smelled <laughs> and smelled some hard water. And that activated a latent gene, a metagene in your body that caused you to be able to run. Like I said, Barry Allen's in them, even though even though they really haven't changed it, and I thought it even still worked on the TV show, The Flash, it still is really stupid if you think about it. <laughs> so. Well, there you go. There's our dumb origins for the day. Our spotlight of dumb origins. It's really hard to find these, too, because it's like... Stupid origins, and then people will be like, Batman's origin's stupid because he won't stop being Batman. Just get over it, Batman. Yeah, and a lot of people will point to, like, Bouncing Boy, and it's like, Bouncing Boy's origin is st- supposed to be stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm he's a stupid sure. character. So, yeah. I don't think anybody created Bouncing Boy like, I've just created the coolest character ever. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't think any of these people He's a are. bouncing baby boy. <laughs> But, um, yeah, there's our spotlights. I don't know. Do you have an idea of maybe what we could do next time? Uh, no, I don't have an idea. Do you? No. Oh, okay. We'll come up with something. <laughs> we'll think Not maybe something. you'd come up with something off the uh, <laughs> On the spot? On the spot. Yeah, it's just like, do something. I don't know. No. We'll figure it out. Once we do it, you'll know, because that will be the end. We could do uh, some battles. <clears throat> well, like superhero versus superhero. Yeah, we could be like, you know, hey, who would win? Mickey Mouse or Deadpool? Deadpool. No, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. He's got a lot He's more people. He's invincible. Well, so is Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Not really. Because he's got... Uh, I mean, he's Mickey... Well, for one, Mickey Mouse could just be like, you are my employee, Deadpool. So, like, stop. I own you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh! Yeah, and Deadpool would be like, oh, I'm actually funny. <laughs> Come on. I thought you were going to go with me on that one Alright, so maybe we shouldn't do battles <laughs> oh, 
Oh. It'd be a terrible idea. I don't um, know. We'll think of something. We'll think of something. I don't. I mean, I'm I'm okay with battles. Spotlight will be the um, next uh, next one. It'll be a secret spotlight. Yeah, and we'll whisper, and the audience will be like, "I wasn't listening to begin with." <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Nobody's listening. Nobody's <laughs> listening. Next uh, next topic. We usually cut the end next out chamber. We usually end out the show with a couple recommendations. Stuff that we've either seen this week or stuff like that. And I think we both can kind of agree on one thing that we're going to recommend. And that would be... Uh, Dragon Ball Z Revival of F. Or Resurrection, Resurrection F. F. Yeah, what would you think? Oh, yeah. We I went to go thinking. see uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, uh, Resurrection F uh, just last night at uh, the movie theater. And it was amazing. I've got to say, as a as a fan of Dragon Ball Z, I know as far as being a comic book podcast, not everybody's a fan of Dragon Ball Z, but there is a lot of overlap. And if you like Dragon Ball Z at all, I would suggest you go see this movie. You go see it, you get it when it comes out on video, whatever. It's awesome. It's the best Dragon Ball Z movie that they've made. So far. And there's been some pretty good ones. The last one, Battle of Gods, was pretty good. This picks up there with the return of Frieza, who is an iconic villain from the TV show. <laughs> and, I mean, if anybody knows Frieza, and also spoilers for the movie, but it is just a delight to see Frieza get punched over and over again for almost an hour. It's great. I had fun. I think it was one of the best movies. And yeah, you can go ahead and save something if you want. Oh, I was just going to say that um, I did like that a lot. That, like, it was more of a even match compared to, like, the, um, the last one, um, Battle of Gods, where it was like he was fighting Beerus, but, like, Beerus was way too powerful for him. And he was just kind of, like, dodging him and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. A lot, and it really kind of felt like a really one-sided match. I mean, at a point, it got to that point where it was like they could fight on an even toe, but it was still very much like Goku was getting his ass whooped the whole time. But this one felt a lot better because I kind of go went in thinking like, oh, Frieza's going to whoop everybody's butt, and he's going to whoop Goku's butt real bad, and then Goku's going to have to find a way to come back and beat him. But I thought it was really cool that like it was just like, Goku was whooping his ass the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think most, like, 90% of the Dragon Ball movies have had the same formula of villain shows up, he has, like, three henchmen, they beat the shit out of everybody for, like, 20 minutes until Goku arrives. Goku beats the shit out of the henchmen. He fights the bad guy, the bad guy beats Goku, and then the Goku finds it within himself to finally be the bad guy. And that's sort of the formula. Yeah, I'll go Super Saiyan like one or two and then like be like, I'm going to beat you now. Exactly. And this one I feel like kind of turned it on its head a little bit to where Frieza shows up with like a thousand henchmen. And, you know, the characters that we love that usually get their butt kicked throughout all these movies like Krillin and Tien and Gohan and Piccolo have this have this like great like twenty minute stretch where they get to shine where they're just beating the crap out of all of these henchmen here. Just I mean, I think at one point one character says that, you know, hey, I think each of us, you know, if each of us take about a hundred and seventy nine of them we'll be good. And that's exactly what they do. And yep. it's just, it's amazing. I, I think that's the best, like, usage of characters that I've seen in a long time. And then when Goku shows up, it's not just kind of the same thing of, you know, Frieza overpowers Goku the whole time. It's almost just like they're they're just toying with Frieza the whole time. And I it, it, was, it was very different, which is why I think it's the best. Mm -hmm. And even when they um, all went, like... When, um, because you know, at first he he went to his final form that we saw last in Dragon Ball, mm -hmm. where it was like the white the white suit or whatever, and then he Goku was like, I'm not gonna even go Super Saiyan on yeah. you, <laughs> and then they started fighting, and Goku was still beating him up, and then then Goku went Super Saiyan God, and then Frieza went Gold. It was still very evenly matched and stuff, and it was. It was cool, and it's like you were saying too with the characters. I think they use they've been they've been using the characters really well in the last two ones, you know. Compared compared because it's like 
there's a lot of comedy involved with them, like with Vegeta and Goku and stuff. Of like, you know, the line where Goku was like, it's my turn! And he was like, come on, I really want to fight him too! <laughs> and there was like a lot of like, that type of stuff that was funny. And I think that that really has helped these last couple ones, is that there's a lot of comedy with the characters, you know, kind of riffing off of each other. That was really cool to see. Yeah, they really increased the quality of comedy in these movies. I, 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 I'm not sure if maybe just before the quality of comedy wasn't there or whether it was just the voice acting and the directing of the dubbing that really maybe the comedy was lost from the show. But these last two movies have been really hilarious. And this one, this one was no different. It was really great. Mm-hmm. Really great character stuff. I mean, I give it a... I mean, honestly, like... It's like the second best movie that I've seen this year. <laughs> and, uh, and that's no lie. So I would suggest if you can see it in a theater, see it in a the theater. But if you can see it somewhere, see it somewhere. I'd love to go see it again sometime. So, um, so yeah, awesome. That's, that's my recommendation, though. If you like Dragon Ball Z, I say watch this movie as soon as you can. What would you give it on a scale from like 1 to 10? Or let's make it... Let's make it a little easier. Seven Dragon Balls. <laughs> yeah, would you, like, out of seven Dragon Balls, there's seven of them, right? Yeah, I believe so. There, out of seven Dragon Balls, how many Dragon Balls would you give it? Oh, seven. Seven Dragon seven Balls? Seven out of seven Dragon Balls. <laughs> it's, 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 like I said, it's the best movie I've seen. And that's even including the specials, like, you know, History of Trunks and the saga of Bardock or whatever. Episode, not episode of Bardock, uh, the, the Bardock one. It's even including <laughs> the those. One. There were TV specials, whereas the Trunks one was really good. This one was just, I mean, it's on a whole nother level. It's like they're, you know, I, it's, on a, it's on a whole nother level. There's nothing, n- no better way I can put that. It's just, it's really great. It's great. Seven out of seven Dragon Balls. Seven Dragon Balls. It's perfect. I give it seven Dragon Balls, too. So. Excellent, excellent. Heard it first from us. The so straight out of comic boys. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great. So, I think that's about it for now. Um, that's the show. That's straight out of comics. Awesome. Did you have something you wanted to say closing out the show? Or I was just going to say how we probably will. Uh, Turn off this uh, recorder. We'll go look on Twitter and find out some huge comic book news happened. And yeah, we'll, we'll be, be like, like Ugh, fudge. Well, let me let me let me look it up real quick. Let me look up. If there's anything. <laughs> we have. Uh, we should add a cleanup yeah. section where we just go clean up. Just double check, make sure there's no like super comic news going on. But uh, but I think we should have like catchphrases that we end the show with. I don't know. You have one. I, I I would have to think about mine, but uh, do you have one? I'm Billy Berserk, and I don't shiv, Jackson. Ah, uh, classic from The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, I just watched both of them, so. Oh, those are pretty both good. Both the animated movies. The animated movies, so that is pretty good. I think, uh, I was going to say something, but then I forgot. So. I almost hit record. I was saying. <laughs> well, that's the show. For this week. Say your catchphrase. I'm Billy Berserk and I don't shiv. <laughs>